much for joining me again today. If you are new, my name is Anna. We do all things cleaning, cooking, organizing, shopping, shopping hauls, decorating um, on this channel. So if that is something that you are interested in, I would love to have you join my YouTube family. Just go ahead and click the subscribe button down below and don't forget to click that bell to be notified each time I upload a video. I upload two videos a week on Monday and Thursday at 6 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So by now you guys know that we are selling the house. Um, Ernie and I spent a good three days um, cleaning and this was after our trip. Um, you can go back and watch the previous videos um, of our timeline, but our son and daughter-in-law and the four kids moved to Tennessee and they did live with us. Um, we bought this house so that they could live with us. Um, but they are gone now, <laughs> um, and so it's just Ernie and I, and we have decided to sell. But there are some things that need to happen before um, before I can uh, before we, you know, I can do like an open house. So it is Wednesday, and a week from today, they are coming to do the videography and the photo shoot for the listing. The market is hitting the ha um, the mark the home is hitting the market at the end of the month, um, and so I think the end of the month. Uh, anyways, um, so um, they are coming to do all of that, and so I need to get some things done. I'm going to be undecorating the house. I needed to uh, shampoo this area rug because even if we. Um, store it. Um, I want it cleaned when it's stored or as clean as possible and I've never um, shampooed it so uh, we had a party before we drove the kids cross country and um, you know lots of people were walking on it. We don't wear shoes in the house but we never ask our guests to remove their shoes. Typically they ask because they see we don't wear shoes but when you have a party it, it's just impossible. So Anyways, no big deal. I have a small carpet shampoo, so we're going to take care of doing that. And then I'm going to spend the next couple days. Um, it's not all going to be filmed in one. You're going to see it all in one video, but it's not going to be filmed all in one day. I'm going to be going through the house or the rooms that are decorated, and I'm going to pare down the decor um, and... Um, you know, just make it more uh, depersonalized decor. I don't know if that makes any sense. You'll kind of see what I, I'm planning as I'm doing it. This room was the one room that I didn't touch in the last cleaning video because it was clean. Um, and so was the kitchen. The kitchen wasn't horrible. It just needed counters wiped down. I needed to put my decor back. I did all that. But this room wasn't bad. It needs to be dusted. Ernie um, vacuumed and did mop the floors. Um, for me before he left um, the day before yesterday and so I'm going to give it one more vacuum I'm going to dust really quick give it one more good vacuum I'm going to move the furniture out and I'm going to shampoo this carpet but the shampooing of the carpet oh I'm going to dust I'm going to take decor down that I don't and put it away in the cabinets that I don't want um, uh, you know out um, kind of shuffle things around. I want to see, I'm just going to see uh, if it looks good. I want the two chairs that I bought, the gray chairs. I'm going to see how they look on either side of the TV cabinet facing the sofa. I'm just going to see if I like the way that looks. Um, just to open up the space when you're walking, when you walk in the house. Let me show you. So here's the view you get. Oh, we're a little crooked. Uh, is that better? <laughs> okay. So here's the view you get when you walk in the front door and you walk in. Um, I kind of want that to be opened. Um, so I want to move those just to see how I like it. I'm thinking of putting one here and one over there. I don't know because that that um, entertainment center can actually be shifted a tad this way. So I'm going to see how I like it to create a um, conversation, a conversation, um, 
I don't know, I'm just gonna see how I like it. And if I do, I'll leave it that way. Um, and we'll see, but, so we're gonna do that. Okay, so we're gonna do that. We're going to um, work in here, because the kitchen is nice and clean. There'll be things that um, I will do, um, you know, prior to like an open house, like make sure there's no fingerprints on the glass and, you know, freshen the bathrooms up and all that kind of stuff. But um, I'm, I'm kind of starting early because I really want time to think about it. I need to take stuff off of the bar cart. And then the kitchen cabinets, when my daughter-in-law packed all of her stuff out of there, everything is just misshuffled in there. So I just want to like straighten all the kitchen cabinets out because when people go to buy homes, that's what they do. They open kitchen cabinets and, you know, they kind of get an idea of what the space looks like. And so you want to make sure that kind of stuff is neat and organized and pared down. I don't have to worry about clutter. I do know that there is a cabinet where we kept like all the party supplies, like napkins and extra cutlery and that kind of stuff so I need to like organize that um, the pantry is not bad it's just there's stuff in there that um, was just put in there like the day of the party um, and so that needs to be organized um, a little bit not much um, so there's little tiny things that we need to do and I'm going to take you guys with me on how I get ready this is my fifth home that I'm selling um, fingers crossed, I always sell the very first open house. Um, I always sell my homes. They sell very quickly. I think that the market is going to be helpful this time around. There's a lot of people that are looking for a new built home to move into right away because of supply chain issues, getting material and the cost of material going up and the interest rates going up. People are pulling out of their new home contracts and um, looking for something like this. So I have a feeling it's gonna sell very quickly. <laughs> so that kind of makes me nervous, but you know, it is what it is. Um, anyway, so I need to get things taken care of in here so that I can just chill and know that the day they come to do the video and the day they come to take pictures, I don't have to do anything but make my bed. That's another thing. Speaking of making my bed, I'm going to like beef the bed up like you know, I don't have it like that right now because it's just me and, you know, it's a kind of a nuisance to have to undo this gorgeous bed and then do it all over again the next day. <laughs> um, so I'm going to be like trying to figure out a way with all the um, all of the comforters I have and everything to see how I can get that to really look um, luxurious. Um, take down some of the decor that's in there, some of the personalized decor, just really pare it down. Um, I'll probably be shifting decor from room to room to room um, because at this point it doesn't matter. I'm going to undecorate the coffee bar. Um, you'll see what I'm gonna do. I'll, t I'll tell you guys, you'll be able to see what I'm doing as I go along, but the first room I wanna start on is in here because I wanna get the carpet shampooed, but I can't do that until I dust. And then I want to try those chairs out. So let's go ahead and get started. And like I said, it's going to be over a um, Wednesday, Thursday, you know, Friday type, maybe just today and tomorrow. I don't really feel like I have that uh, much to do. Um, oh, and I still have to clean the bathroom in the... Um, in the downstairs bedroom. I need to clean that bathroom. I have not cleaned that since they left. Um, we didn't get to it in the cleaning video. So Ernie vacuumed and cleaned the windows and touched up all the walls in there and everything. So that's all done. Just the bathroom needs to be um, cleaned and, um, and everything. So over today and tomorrow and maybe Friday, <laughs> um, I'll be doing, um, you know, that kind of stuff, and I'll just video it all and put it all together in one video. So it's not all gonna be in one day, um, cause I do, I need to go get my hair done. I need to go get my nails done. I broke a nail during the cleaning. Um, I need to get them cut down, they're too long. So I need to take care of me um, and just chill. I don't want to stress myself out over this. I don't want um, to feel like I need to hurry and get anything done which is why I start early. Um, you know, they're not coming until next Thursday. I could actually wait until Monday to do any of this, but I don't want to do that. I want to um, 
to just take my time and make sure that it's right. So anyways, let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and um, leave them where they were um, after I get the carpet shampooed and everything. I'll put them right back where they started. You gotta love my something about Mary hair. <laughs> uh, if I didn't have a cabinet there, that would work, but it doesn't work because there's a cabinet. So... It looks like it's shoved in the corner. So we will go ahead and just um, leave it here. But anyways, they're in a good spot for me to go ahead and shampoo, vacuum and shampoo the carpet. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and leave them. Um, so let's get the rest of the furniture moved out of the way. <laughs> too heavy for me to move on my own so <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and just shampoo around it underneath where the rug is has never been stepped on because um, it was brand new when we put it down so I'm okay with that hopefully you are too <laughs> but I don't want to break my back so we're gonna leave it and just vacuum or just shampoo around it Hearts don't lie. An empty page, a story to write. I'm in love, you're divine, and it's all in our signs. We're going away. Get your back, check the tag. Decision is made. Lock your door, need no more. It's already paid. Cancel your mail for a Now it's time to move on to getting the carpet vacuumed before I shampoo it. I always like to make sure I do a good vacuum. It's very important that you do, and you'll see why. I empty that canister two times, um, and I go over the carpet a couple times. It's just important to get as much dirt out as possible. <laughs> the carpet was filthy. I am so happy that I got this done.
still with me, I want to thank you. It is 15 minutes into the video, and we still have a minute to go, guys. Um, it's a long one today. I don't know how to make short videos without showing you guys everything that I'm doing, and I suppose I could break it up into several videos, but it doesn't make any sense for me to do that. I want one video with certain content, um, you know, and so I'm trying to figure all of that out, but um, today's video was all about, I wanted one video all about how I get ready for... Um, you know, pictures and videography when I sell a house. And I want the next video to be um, of me, um, well, of the cleaning of it. And then I want the next video being, you know, like the uh, decluttering and, and that kind of stuff and, you know, doing this type of things that I'm doing in today's video. And then I'll give you guys a video and I want the video. And I think I may have mentioned this. I'm not sure because I've been editing this video for days now. <laughs> um, I want to... Um, make sure to get a video of our house before we sell it. So I'm going to be doing, um, uploading a video like a walkthrough, like, um, you know, like entering the front door and all of that stuff. Just so you guys can see how we leave it. <laughs> um, and just so that we have a memory of it. So, um, anyways, thank you if you're still with me. I really appreciate it. I know that some people like long videos, some people like short videos, and it's so hard to to find a balance with that, but um, the house is big, and there was lots to do, and so, um, you know, I just, I had to put it all into one video, so I think it's going to end up being about an hour, because I still haven't uploaded all of my footage to iMovie yet, and um, we're already at like 41 minutes, so <laughs> I think it's going to be like an hour video, so if you're with me, if you're one of my regulars that likes to watch my videos, I really appreciate you. If you're new to my channel and you're just catching this video for the first time, I appreciate you. room is done as far as I'm concerned for pictures the only thing and I and I won't make this decision until I move into the kitchen this is everything that I removed I tried that blue vase but um, it didn't work out so I'll just put that back but I need to get rid of this stuff here um, and once I you know I, I may not put anything on the table at all because sometimes less is more we'll see but um this is what I mean by paring down decor. So I almost think that I might put those candlesticks on the dining room table and move the horse over here and push those up to the side just to kind of balance it all out. And I'll try that um, in just a little bit. But this is all the stuff. This is what I mean by personal decor. Now I fell in love with this. This is something I love. Um, but somebody who might come to view the house, something this simple hanging on the wall could turn a buyer off. <laughs> so, um, you know, this is the kind of personalized decor, not so much, you know, the candle, is this is the kind of stuff that um, I'm talking about. So this is everything that I removed from the, um, I still have to put my basket back, which I'm going to do. I just wanted to like roll the pillows up or pillows, the blankets up and I'll put that back, but I probably will get rid of this colored one and just do white. Actually, let's do that right now. All right, that looks good. So 
just paring down the decor and pulling out the um, the decor that um, I was having my little break here with my sweet tea pulling out the um, the uh, you know personalized decor also <laughs> I moved the sofa a tad this way, so I was able to move this grouping a little bit further this way, so more room in between here, and it just makes more sense. I don't know why I didn't do that before, but anyways, it looks good. So I'm considering the living room done, and it is hot today, so I am going to turn the air on. It's 75 in here. Just gonna get warmer. Okay. So, now, the kitchen is pretty much done. I have the, you know, all my junk over here that needs to be put away, but I have my, everything is decorated in here. Now, what I'm gonna do is, in here, well first let's start with the bar cart. I'm gonna set that up a little bit more. Um, I'm gonna pull stuff off of it, it's too crowded. Get rid of everything on the table. We'll just have this, this, and this grouping, and this one here. I may even consider putting this on the kitchen table. That way we have a very, because um, the day of open house and pictures, you know, this stuff won't be here. Um, this won't be here. This stuff won't be here. Um, I remove all that kind of stuff. It'll just be this here, you know. I don't know, we'll see. But definitely gonna take the wreath down. Um, I think that the backs backsplash looks pretty good. In the coffee bar, I'm definitely going to um, take down the ivy. Just pare the decor down a little bit more, make it look a little bit more sophisticated as opposed to spring. So I'll take that stuff down, um, like remove the deck and the robin's nest and um, probably the yellow flowers and the ivy. And just doing that, we'll see where we're at and kind of rearrange things. But yeah. Um, and then in the, in the pantry, I just bought that yesterday because I ran out of rice, so I bought that yesterday. I thought I had another one of these to put it in. I don't. Uh, so I got to just, you know, arrange things in here so that it looks pretty. So when they come in to take pictures, it's, um, you know, it's arranged. <laughs> so I need to do that in here. So that won't take me more than maybe 10 minutes. I got to take this down. This is our birthday um celebration so i'm going to take that down because that's personal um i'll leave up my chalkboard um because that's cute uh yeah so that's all i need to do in here so let's go ahead and take care of the kitchen now Sunlight that always stays Dinner by the waterway It's that sweet life Raise your cross Made some dew crack a smile He asked if I could stay a while I'm living that high life Catch a flight, but you can make me go Unlocking all the memories of my new home Ventilated echoes playing to and fro To and fro, back and forth, yeah Caught some kids dancing in the alleyway Crazy how the melodies began to play, yeah Tell me how you feel it when you hear the lyric, yeah My heart's in stock
from the girl I brought a girl on my best friend She said I already told ya Yeah, girl I never dated a black guy I said you brown yourself Let me offer help Come on inside Everybody knows your name, everybody knows your name Time to catch a flight, but you can make me go Unlocking all the memories of my new home Ventilated echoes playing to and fro To and fro, back and forth Okay, so that is literally all I'm gonna do um, to the kitchen But I've depersonalized it, looks a little bare, but that's okay Um I'm the day of the open house. I'll probably fill this with like muffins or something. Um, and you know, we'll do the regular cleaning. I'm not sold on this um, at all. I'm just, I'm not sold on it. So we will see um, what I come up with. I change things around all the time, but um, the kitchen looks good now. It, um, it's definitely, let me turn the lights all on here. I'm all on, I got them all on. So now people can envision, you know, themselves in here. There's a just enough decor, you know, to just enough, just enough. Um, but like I said, I'm not loving this. I might not have anything on there or I don't know. I was thinking about because this is what I ended up doing with the coffee table and I still feel like that's too much so I might just take everything out of that basket put that basket on top of here um I don't know we'll see we shall see what I come up with but I depersonalized it and I just want enough decor so that when people walk in it looks decorated but it doesn't look cluttered so um yeah so that is it. Um, I'm done for today. I'll pick up tomorrow. But and of course, you know, the cleaning of everything will be done before pictures. I'm not worried about like my stainless still has streaks on it because I use the Mrs. Myers all purpose, which <laughs> is not all purpose because it leaves streaks on everything. So I got to go over all my appliances. Um, I still need to do the coffee bar and the pantry which I will get to, but I think this is enough for one day. Um, it's really hot out, so I have the shade pulled down. That's why it's so dark. It was, I don't know, I think it's in the 90s today. So really, really pretty out. It's gorgeous out, but anyways, I wanted everything to be cohesive in the house. That is what buyers are looking for. So, oh, and I moved this. Um, so I moved my horse over here and those um, little vases I moved off to the side because they were blocking the eye of the sound bar. I don't know if I'll keep it that way again. Um, I move things around all the time so um, but for now I'm liking it. I like the fact that the um, mantle is not decorated except it makes the my horse picture like the highlight. So I was thinking about putting those on the dining room table. We'll see. Um, I left this out because um, I didn't want to forget about it. These go inside the green box, but I didn't want to forget I have this. It's a real candle. It smells so good. Um, if you have a Pier 1, let's see, what is this? Uh, vintage Linens candle. Is that what that says? Hmm. Huh. It smells so good, so I might um, have that lit the day of, I don't know, we'll see. Anyways, so that is it for today. I will um, get to this um, maybe maybe later today. I'll feel, you know, like want to do this little bar cart type thing um, and see how I can get that decorated um, to look less cluttered <laughs> obviously it's it's full um so i need to see about that but anyways um that is it for today we will pick up tomorrow
well, I ended up knocking out a few more projects on the same day. <laughs> I have a hard time sitting still, especially when I'm home alone. There's always something that can be done in your home. I just feel that way. No home is ever completely done or completely organized. And so um, because my brain works that way and I'm constantly thinking, thinking and thinking. And if I, if I don't get up and do something, it, I, I can't rest. I'm not really relaxing and I don't really, I, I feel guilty. It's the weirdest thing. I feel guilty. And I guess because nobody's here, I feel guilty just sitting and relaxing, you know, or, you know, doing something for me. And so, um, I had a really hard time just, you know, sitting there. I was watching movies. I watched a couple of movies and I was watching some YouTube and I said, you know what, just get up and knock out a few more projects. Tomorrow you'll be so much happier. And I was, I was so much happier that I got these few things done. The next day I was like, ah, oh, those are off my list. You know, I don't have to worry about them. So um, I didn't put the camera down for good this day. As you can see, I got a few more things done. Are you guys like that? Do you do that? I, is it just me? My girlfriend and I were just talking about it this morning and I was telling her, I said, you know, I, I, I'm, my brain doesn't know when to turn off. It doesn't know how to shut down. And so when I'm supposed to be kicking back or when it's okay to be kicking back and relaxing, even if I'm watching a movie, my brain is thinking, I need to do this. I need to do that. You know, don't forget to do this. Don't forget to do that. Oh, add this, add that, you know, it's just how my brain functions. And so I, I felt you know, like guilt, you know, just sitting there and knowing that things needed to get done. And, um, and so it made me feel so good the next morning, you know, that I, I got it done. But um, I need to learn how to chill, like I need to really learn how to uh, not do anything, you know, not do anything housework related, if that makes any sense. I mean, there's always housework to be done. Let's, let's, you know, be real, but I need to learn how to give myself a day off, you know, and I don't know how to do that. Um, even on the days that I say I took off or I didn't do anything, I was lazy. I still did things, you know, but they're not considered housework or, you know, not real labor, in my opinion, you know, I still do things around the house, I just, I consider it lazy work. And so, um, I don't know, maybe I'm weird, but um, I had a hard time just sitting there knowing all this stuff needed to get done. And the funny thing is, is I had given myself days, you know, I said, I've got days to get this done, you know, and this is why I start early, so that I can chill, but I still don't. <laughs> I do not know what's wrong with me, guys. So it is the next day and I decided to go ahead and start with the bathroom in my son and daughter-in-law's old bedroom. I wanted to make sure to start off with this and get this done. I had some things I wanted to get done because I was going to get my hair and nails done and um, I just wanted to make sure that, you know, I didn't sweat or, or do anything that was going to break a nail <laughs> after I was done. So we're starting off in their bathroom and giving it a nice clean. Ernie had vacuumed and cleaned windows and done paint touch up in the bedroom and living room downstairs um, in their area. So this was all that was left to do. So that is what I'm doing now.
Cause I'm addicted to what you and I realize Lead the way, I follow No need to say Where we are heading now, babe I follow To the edge of it all So tell you I keep thinking about all the stuff that I have, like all of this laundry stuff and cleaning stuff and food and I'm like, where am I going to put it all? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. But for the sake of pictures and open houses and that kind of thing, I wanted to use, I went ahead and decided to use these baskets to kind of store stuff in just to make it neater. Um, I wanted the laundry room to appear um, a little bit more decorated. I wouldn't do this on a daily basis, you know, or have it look like this on a daily basis. I think it looks good on camera and it's, you know, great for you guys to see, but um, it's just not functional for me. I need to see what's in the baskets. I need to have all my stuff out in front of me. <laughs> Now I'm moving into my closet. I'm I'm not good at that color blocking um, thing that people do. So I'm trying my hardest to arrange the clothes by style and color so that it looks a little neater when you walk into the closet. Um, all of that stuff that you see up on the shelves is gone now. Um, and you guys will see that when I do my, um, when I film my um, whole house tour, you'll see that it is all gone. Um, and so it looks much better in there. And um, I think the clothes came out. Mine are hard to do um, just because I have like patterns and stuff like that. So I just try to keep like the blues together and the pinks together and the grays together. I think it turned out okay. I'm not one of those people that has to have it like this all the time. I'm just not. I think it looks great in a, um, a smaller closet, but it kind of gets lost on me. Um, in a larger closet. I don't know. I do my best. I do my best. So um, <laughs> that kind of reminds me of that one. Um, what is that one TikTok? What do you do for a living? <laughs> I do my best, Tom. Okay, I do my best. So um, I do my best for this part. And I think it turns out okay. Now I wanted to move over to the bed because I wanted to make it look a little bit more inviting and more luxurious. And um, and that is, you know, something that I think is important when you're, um, you know, when you walk into a model home or when you're touring a home, you just want it to look pretty and inviting and luxurious. And so we're going to take care of that. Um, that is what I'm doing. now. I'm just using blankets and pillows and all that kind of stuff that I have um, in the house already. I didn't go out and buy anything fancy or new for it. Um, I figured I could try my hardest to get a good look, you know, a good comfy look out of it. So, um, or a luxurious look out of it, I guess, you know, I don't know. Some, some things are just not that important to me. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I want to thank you so much. If you're still here, I want to thank you. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you guys think about today's video. I want to thank you again for staying till the end. I appreciate you. I hope you guys got lots of motivation out of today's video, and we will catch you in the next one. Bye.